Every year, PowerStop makes the journey from their headquarters in Chicago to the world-renowned SEMA show in Las Vegas. These rigs are equipped with some of the leading aftermarket manufactured auto parts and are put to a real-world test on the 5,000-mile journey across America. In a world full of boundaries, dead ends, and U-turns, where other vehicles see the end of the road, we see the start of the adventure. So join us where the pavement ends, on the trail to SEMA. The Power Stop Trail is presented by J.C. Whitney, the official part source, and Lucas Oil, the official oil supplier of the trail. In association with HP Tuners, connect, read, edit, write, drive. And Maxxis Tire, delivering high performance tires to the world. Contributing sponsors include Best Top, Icon Vehicle Dynamics, Optima Batteries, RCV Performance, Rugged Radio, and Vision Wheel. Las Vegas, Nevada. This glowing desert oasis is known for many things, but in the world of automotive aftermarket parts manufacturing, this is the home of the yearly convention of the Specialty Equipment Market Association, or more popularly known as the SEMA Show. Bringing together over 2,000 vendors and over 250,000 automotive enthusiasts, the SEMA Show is a week-long industry party for car, truck, Jeep, and hot rod fans from around the world. If you're into anything automotive and this isn't on your bucket list, add it now, because the SEMA Show is the crown jewel of aftermarket car shows. The trail part of Trail to SEMA is all finished up. So the trails are done, we're here at SEMA 2018 Las Vegas Convention Center. Let's go look at some cool junk. Hanging out in the ESOP booth, teaching people how to weld with the new Rebel Weldery bits. And uh, that's what I do for the rest of the week. So for week one, I drive over rocks, and week two, I weld junk together. the weld steel. No one wants to weld aluminum. I got this beautiful machine that welds steel and aluminum, and everyone just wants to weld steel. Alright? Yeah, about three quarters of the way, I'll start the arc and then back it off for a half hour. Alright? Just in case you got a little green. Isn't the aluminum welding fun, Doug? I love it. We are here at the Power Stop booth, and we're gonna go bug our friend Ian Johnson. I'm gonna take his welding helmet off right as he's starting an arc. Someday, you put your arm out. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> get in the ground. That totally worked. That doesn't work for me. That totally worked. Keep going. This guy is like 22 years old, and yeah, we wield with a 48-year-old. Yeah, yeah. This is game. this is a bit of false advertising, maybe. That's yeah. a strapping young man in that yeah, photo. Yeah, that's a, the, the, that's the Ian Johnson we know is not a strapping. He's young over man. there. That's <laughs> true. Quick question: How tall do you think his hair is, though, right here? Uh, at least 14 inches. 14 inches. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, don't you hate it when you talk about someone and they're right behind you? <laughs> Alright, Tiffany Stone's turn. This goes over your brow. You want it too tight, but you want to tighten up the... Just like that. Yep, flip it forward. And now, now you're welding. <laughs> huh. See any similarities? We have the same haircut. <laughs> okay. That's all I got. Perfect. You want to keep it about an eighth of an inch away. Got it. Got it. Alright. It went wonderful. My hair is a little messy. Ian said I did really well until Ian left me and then I kind of burnt some things. However, 
with Ian helping me, I didn't burn a lot. He's not doing good. T-Stone's killing it. Bleeping Jeep's not representing. All right, here we go. Let's blow some holes in some metal. Oh yeah, she's a beaut. We are burning the soles off our shoes here at SEMA. We are now at Maxis with Brian. Brian, I gotta tell you, a bunch of us were running the Razors yeah. on Trail to SEMA 2018 and loved them. I, I, I was just, just talking to him off camera. Air down the tire, phenomenal. We beat the snot out of these things. Tell me how you did this. How did this tire do all of the things that we did to it over these? Well, as we came into the new product release and uh, the development process, we knew we had to make a refined mud drain, and that was kind of the goal. We also needed to make something that was going to be capable. So construction was key, uh, tread pattern was, design was key, compounds uh, used in this tire had to be developed, redeveloped, tested, and so all those ele elements had to come into play in the development of this tire so it could deliver everything that we needed the market to know and experience, and that's, that's what you've been able to experience. So. Yeah. Down. They got us through three states, a bazillion trails, uh, all kinds of terrain from rocky, sandy stuff to the slick rock in Moab, tons of highway miles. I mean, just a little bit of everything. Plus, let's talk really quick about the trepidors that we put on Bleep and Jeep's rock crawler. Tell us. Now that was a whole other element of awesome. What about that tire creates such a sticky cheater tire? Well, obviously the compound, being a soft compound, it's our competition tire. Uh, it is DOT, so it can go out on the street and be used like that. Right. Um, but it's a dominant off-road tire, and it's it's sort of the go-to for rock crawling. And it, it's always going to be dominant. Uh, it's been that way for a long time. Uh, it's a tried and true tire compound. It's super strong, rigid sidewalls with good protection. And when you're out on the trail, that means you have to have that. And especially when you're going that aggressive in a competition environment or rock crawling environment, you've got to have that super sturdy sidewall. So that was kind of where things sort of heat off and it had to be sort of duplicated into that. Thank you so much for sharing. You guys oh, it was a blast. <laughs> Thank you much. Thanks, Brian. Trail to SEMA is all done, Jay. Did you prefer to be on the trail or on the SEMA part of Trail to SEMA? Oh, definitely the trail. Yeah. I can't wait for next year. Because it's less standing than one place? I get to sit in a comfortable seat with a steering wheel, throttle pedal, and a brake. That's more comfortable than... But you have a cushy floor here, which is kind of nice. It, it, you know what? It kind of works, but we're in meetings all day. All day? Yeah. Um, my voice is almost gone. So, trail. So, trail to SEMA, drive around HP Tuners, you tuned up a bunch of people. What, uh, so you're out trail to SEMA, what, what were you doing with all these cars out there with computers and laptops? You know, we, we did a few things. Uh, Tiffany's vehicle, we corrected the speedometer. She can actually get into overdrive on the highway now, nice. and she's going to save fuel economy on the way home. I'm sure of it. Uh, with Jason's, we did a 91 octane tune, so he picked up right about 30 horsepower and about the same in torque. So, you know, he's going to be able to twist more axle tubes. That, that's probably dangerous for him. It that is. may have been a mistake. You probably should have, like, taken some power out of his car and just told him you added it. No, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. You know, breaking parts is fine because we'll, we'll we, this is what this is about. We yeah. come here to fix them. That's right. You break more parts and you buy more parts. Absolutely. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's the way it works. Well, it was fun going on Trail to SEMA with Jay. I had a blast. I I'm glad it. I was able to come. It was a good day spending seven days in Germany. Yeah, it was awesome. Thank All you right. so much. Good stuff, man. All right, there we go. We're out. We're going to look at more stuff at the 2018 season show. All right, so we're here with Scott from Icon Vehicle Dynamics, and he's going to take us through all the new stuff they have coming out. Thanks very much, man. Thanks for coming by. Um, we're standing here in front of our, uh, our 2018 Jeep JL. Uh, newest for this would be our full Stage 8 suspension system, which is what we see on this. It includes our 2.5-inch uh, diameter shocks with compression adjusters. 
full uh, adjustable link arms, track bars. Um, also our new centerline steering stabilizer shock, uh, through shaft, no steering pull. Also too, we have our newest uh, division, our, the Icon Impact Series off-road armor. Uh, this is the, uh, the front uh, Jeep bumper here. Uh, for the JL specifically, that is modular in width. We have different wings that are included. And for display here, it's all held on with magnets, so it's real fancy. And it has matching rock sliders, rear bumper um, as well. So that's a whole new product line for us that uh, um, we're excited about. All right, so the only thing missing on my Jeep JK is it's an old Jeep and it, all of the bump stops have deteriorated to where there's pretty much nothing. So it kind of bombs out pretty hard. So. Next, I'm gonna get a set of these hydraulic bump stops and uh, put those it goes right in the uh, cool bucket. And it'll make it where we can take those hard hits and punch the bottom out. Yeah, much more controlled. The whole idea behind this is it's a actual uh, another shock that's controlling the last couple of hand, uh, two and a half inches specifically of wheel travel on this. Um, and it, you get exponential damping. It's also velocity sensitive as well as position sensitive. So the harder you hit it and then the further it compresses, it just gets stiffer and stiffer. And then there's no energy transferred back in the axle. I enjoyed having this suspension on my Jeep and I can't wait to see how well it works when I throw these on there. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate your involvement. We'll see you next time. What's up everybody, it's Tiffany Stone and we are finally done with Trail to SEMA. It is day one here at SEMA and we are in the Vision Wheel booth. We've been talking about Vision Wheel the whole entire week. They totally hooked me up, but come this way. We've got some new products. You guys have seen the wheels that I had. I had the Creep wheels. They were in a 17 inch. Well, we got some new things right over here. These are the Manx 2s. Look at this, but if you really, really want to go off-roading, if you really, really want to have the wheels that nobody else has, look at these ones. These are the Manx 2 Overland. These wheels are the brand new ones for 2019. If you've ever watched Desert Racing before, you know this name. His name is Rob McCachran. He is a vision wheel driver, and we totally hooked him up with the UTV that he has out here. Rob's getting a little bit more into UTV racing, and. Being out in the desert, especially if we're gonna hit up Baja 1000 in a few weeks, you wanna have a great free runner. Well, Vision Wheel hooked him up. They gave him some great bead locks that you're gonna see down here on the KM3s. We also have some street wheels that you see right here. These are gonna be the brand new ones. And if you check out this brand new Subaru that you see right down here, look how wonderful those look. So like I said, not only do you need wheels for the desert, you need wheels for short course, for your UTV, for your off-road, for your Jeep. Vision Wheel is hooking you up and you're also still gonna have some street wheels. All right, we've been still hoofing the miles here at SEMA and we're at Best Stop with Rick. Rick, tell us about some, this door here made some splashes here this year at SEMA. Yeah. Tell us about a few of the things we're seeing right here on this Jeep. Sure. So you can see here, this would be like your, you know, your trail configuration. This we'll is getting it. rad to most. This right, exactly. Full off road sure. Okay. Sure. Still mountain mirror, you know. This seal right here makes it a great contact on, if you feel like right here going around the, uh, uh, factory oh, wow. door, and uh, that's something that we were really missing, you know, I think in the Jeep world. So no rattles, no yeah, exactly. water, so, air leaks, right. yeah, so it's good. Yeah, exactly. And versus someone seeking out a factory steel door, we're trying to give them another option that's maybe a little more versatile. Nice. Yeah. Anything else big this year? Yeah, like of course. This is this top right here. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen the JL Factory soft top. Something that has generated a lot of excitement, and what we decided to do is uh, bring that to JK. Uh, show me that little thing right there. Let's move back here and let's see. So what is that mechanism here? You see right here, this is in the converted mode. Um, basically, you have these gas struts right here, which help to make the top 
like feel lighter when okay. you push it back and forth. So it uses this guide track system right here. Um, when you see it go from, you know, uh, basically like a bikini kind of mode yeah. to, uh, you know, like right here, right it here. slides along this track. So this and that's what allows it to basically, versus like a, a uh, you know, hinging kind of, you know, bow system, much easier to use. You know, you're gonna have like the Trek Top, Super Top NX, Trek Top NX Glide, and then uh, this one. That's a lot of options. Yeah, we do have a lot of options. So. <laughs> well, thanks for sharing yeah, a couple definitely. of those with us. We'll so, you see you around. <laughs>
you know, there's there's a lot of mall crawlers here, a lot of a lot of chrome on four-wheel drive vehicles that'll never see anything that's not paved. Uh, but you guys put those vehicles to the test before they even get here, so it's it's great to be a part of that, and we're excited to see how the new H6 batteries will hold up over time, over cycle life, and, and how much they continue to deliver as they get older and, and go through the aging process. I'm really looking forward to installing one into my Jeep personally and continue running. I know a guy who can give you a pretty good deal on them. Ooh, I like the sound of this. Well, awesome, thanks for sharing. Thank you again for being part of it because it saved a lot of us a lot on the trail. All right, we have made it full circle. We are now back at the Power Stop booth here at the SEMA Show 2018. Chris Miller is kind of our guy, my contact point. I want to find out why. I know personally that this Z36 Extreme Kit is an amazing upgrade, but I want to find out why. Tell me why this is such a high impact upgrade you can do. First, like all of our upgrade kits, it comes as one SKU all in one box cross-drilled and slotted zinc-coated rotors, Z36 carbon fiber ceramic pad compound, you know, dust-free, noise-free, high friction, all the hardware you need, uh, new stainless steel clips, any boots or shims you may need, um, and there's a little packet of brake parts in the box. So it's everything you need to do the job. Uh, carbon fiber ceramic pad um, has two elements in there that that work together, they're very symbiotic. The, the ceramic pad is known for being low dust, um, and we absolutely capitalize on that. But those little bits of carbon fiber in there, as they heat up, um, carbon fiber gets hotter, as it, or gets harder as it heats up. Right. And um, that creates more grip at higher temperatures. I personally installed this kit. Noticeable improvements. The cost, the price point is amazing, and it was nice to just click the button and say I want front and rears, pads, rotors. When you do start to replace things like calipers and get into the hydraulic system, there's a lot more that goes into it than just throwing the biggest parts on there. And that's why we say maybe people don't need bigger brakes, they just need better brakes. Right. And so you do it with by science. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we, we science our way into this. I love it. Well, it works. And uh, I'd say most of the rigs on the Trail to SEMA at least had the Z36 pads and rotors on them. All the Jeeps did. I know. Thank you for your time. Yeah. No problem, awesome. man. Thanks for coming with us. <laughs> Amazing. There is a reason why the SEMA show draws automotive enthusiasts from around the world to this desert oasis in Las Vegas, Nevada. We'll see you next year on the Power Stop Trail to SEMA.